Well, I wasn't planning on making another video today, but then this happened. Yeah, that's my Lone Star Grill, and that's my Weber, and one of them is perpendicular to the other. That ain't supposed to happen. Now, this ain't Lone Star's fault. This is my fault. Ground's a little soft here in the fall, and I was having trouble getting it up on the sidewalk. I should have been using a piece of plywood. I had dug in so deep with the one wheel that there was no way I could get it up onto the sidewalk. So I thought, well, I'll just walk it over these rocks and uh, turn it around, do a 360, and come back with a board and try again. But uh, with the slope of my yard heading down that way and the, low, the lowness of that back wheel, uh, when I picked up the front end and started moving downhill with it, well, you can see what happened next. Thankfully, I was not underneath it. Uh, but now i got to find a couple buddies to come over here and help me pick this bad boy up. Y'all be careful with your Lone Stars, especially if you're working on grass, on uneven ground. Be smarter than this hillbilly was tonight. Texas 2.5 is not perfect. That was a big dum-dum on my part. But, hey, I'm letting you in on it, letting you see it. Life at Texas 2.5 is always exciting. All right, y'all can laugh at me all you want. That was a dumb mistake. I should have given up when I realized that the ground was soft there, but I've done this a dozen, 18 times over the last three months. And it's always soft in that spot, and it's always hard to get it over the sidewalk in that spot, and uh, that's never happened before. So from now on, using plywood every time, uh, this thing went down hard. It went over so hard that I had grass in the stuck in my chimney up here. Um, it went all the way over, fully upside down, and then bounced back. Uh, because because it fell downhill. Uh, the amazing thing is, as I look at the back of this, um, this is not a scratch. That's actually just some dirt. That'll rub off when I get that wet. Uh, this is just amazing. There is no chipped paint whatsoever. This is not chipped paint. That's like a, that's a little smudge, actually. Maybe a tiny bit of paint did come off of there, now that I look at it close. That's right where the rocks were, so that's not a surprise. Maybe a tiny scratch or two there. There's a scratch. That is incredibly minimal damage. Um, just a little bit of scratching there where this thing landed upside down on top of itself. Uh, the incredible thing to me, one of the questions I asked Chris Goodlander before I bought this thing was, Okay, tell me about these self-stopping hinges. How strong are those and how long are they going to last? Because I've never seen that before. And it just doesn't look on the website like they're that beefy. I'm going to tell you what. When this thing fell over, remember it fell that way towards the back. Downhill. So this lid came all the way open, slammed into the ground, and then the whole thing bounced back up. And the lid was not resting on the ground. It was resting fully on the hinges. There is not one bit of evidence of warping, of twisting, of anything like that. Uh, this, these things are beefy as advertised. Chris told me he's never had a single one of those fail in the history of his company um, that he could remember ever having a customer come back and say that that, 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 failed on him. Uh, it's just amazing. Everything is just as tight as it was before. I know the lighting's bad on this side, and I'm sorry for that, but this is the non-damaged side anyways. Uh, I have one little token of the fall left on the grill here. Honestly, this is amazing. No worse for the wear, and I am very grateful that none of my kids are out here, that my leg wasn't in the wrong place. That was a lesson learned, and... Uh, from now on, I will definitely be using plywood every single time 
I try to come over that little sidewalk lip. All right, thanks for watching, even my mistakes. One thing you'll always know on Texas 2.5, I ain't hiding nothing. I'm being honest with you. That was a big dummy on my part, and uh, we'll do better next time. See you later. You're probably wondering one last thing. How in the world did you flip that 515-pound beast back over? Uh, actually, with one buddy, uh, he's a strong buddy, uh, he, he used the smokestack side, and I grabbed as best I could on the firebox side, and with the two of us, it took some, it took some pushing and tugging, but uh, we were able to flip it back up on its wheels and carefully roll it into the garage. Um, and that stovepipe is on there so good with those bolts, uh, it's rock solid. You could, you could literally lift the grill with, with the smokestack. Um, I was a little concerned about that when I ordered the Lone Star because it's not welded on. It comes, it comes in the shipping package separate and you bolt it on when it gets here uh, to save you some shipping money because of the height of the smoker. But that thing is rock solid. I mean, it didn't even budge an inch when I was torquing on it before my buddy got here to make sure we could use that as a handle. Um, the smoker is, is really well built even in situations that you shouldn't be doing to your smoker, like rolling it down the hill. So kudos to Lone Star Grills. If you're on the fence about uh, what's the quality like on these things, the builds are just fantastic. So kudos to LSG. Thanks for keeping me smoking, boys, down in Texas. Appreciate you. See you next time. And the next time we do, we'll be smoking upright again. Talk to you later.